In the last video that we watched from WebMD, we saw the cholesterol uh, floating around in the bloodstream um, and accumulating in plaques all by itself. But in fact, uh, cholesterol is not transported around the bloodstream loose like that. Instead, it's packaged and transported through the bloodstream in what are called lipoproteins. So I want to talk about um, those lipoproteins. So here is a diagram of a typical lipoprotein. Remember that lipids are um, don't mix very well with water, and they tend to form lysels. Um, the polar ends are on the outside, and the long fatty acid chains are um, on the inside, um, where their hydrophobic surfaces are packed together. So in the interior of this um, uh, lipid shell um, is packed a whole bunch of um, fats fats and also cholesterol. On the surface of these lipoproteins, we will find proteins. These are proteins that are made um, specifically to be packaged in with these lipid transporting um, lipoproteins. Okay. So there's actually a whole bunch of different types of lipoproteins. Um, there's just four that we are going to be seeing in this diagram I'm going to show you. Um, chylomicrons, VLDLs, LDLs, and HDLs. Um, the chylomicrons are kind of different from all the rest, mainly because they come from the intestine. So when you um, eat food, and it contains triglycerols or cholesterol in it. It goes through your um, intestine wall, small intestine wall, and it comes through on the other side and gets packaged by the intestinal cells into a lipoprotein um, particle. It's called the chylomicron. Um, and the role of the chylomicron is to take lipids from the diet through the bloodstream and distribute the contents to the body wherever it needs it. And then the rest goes back to the liver. We'll see that in a minute. The others, the LDL, LDL, and HDL, are all made by the liver. The LDL and LDL, what they do is they transport um, liver and cholesterol from the liver to the rest of the body. And HDL in, in does the opposite. It's also made by the liver. But what it does is it picks up cholesterol from cells that have excess and take it back to the liver. Um, just a word about the names of these um, lipoproteins, LDL, VLDL, the D in these names refers to the density of the particles. And when we talk about density, we are talking about the ratio between the amount of protein and the amount of lipid. So when the amount of lipid is high, the density is actually low um, because the ratio is the amount of protein per lipid because proteins are more dense um, than lipids. So the difference between VLDL, IDL, and LDL is the amount of lipid that's left in this particular particle. And as you'll see, VLDL, IDL, and LDL all come from the same place. And the only difference is how much lipid they've given up to the tissues around them. And that's all we're going to say about that. All right, so if you remember one thing from this slide, from this series of slides, I want you to remember that HDL is the healthy LDL because it picks up cholesterol, and excess cholesterol causes heart disease. 
And LDL is less healthy um, because what it does is it releases cholesterol to the tissues where it would cause damage. All right, so let's go through the whole cycle of how it is that lipids get around in the body. So let's start in the intestine. Um, this is one of two different sources of cholesterol in the diet, um, of the, in the body, is through the diet. So um, once you take food into the diet, um, in through, into the body, from the diet, if it has fat and cholesterol, it forms chylomicrons, and then those chylomicrons go in the bloodstream between the intestine. Now remember that the blood circulates one time all around the body before it comes back to the same place. So um, the chylomicrons will um, circulate around the body and they have one go around to deliver all of their contents. They deliver them to the muscle, that's where your fat cells get their um, fat from. And anything that's left gets taken back up by the liver. Okay, now the liver, remember that what it does with glucose is it sends out glucose when it's needed, it senses um, when glucose levels are high and low. And um, it also does the same thing with fats. Remember that the liver makes fats um, and it stores fats and it's also where cholesterol is made. So the liver will synthesize some lipids and it synthesizes some cholesterol and it doesn't know that there's a health crisis um, where there's too much cholesterol in people's diet and so um, it makes a certain amount of cholesterol don't get any um, in your diet. And then what it does is it packages up all of the fat that's come in from the various sources, either from the liver or from the diet, and all of the cholesterol, and hooks it up with a protein that it makes, which is an apolite protein, and puts it into these particles which are secreted as the LDLs. Okay, remember that VLDLs, these have lots of fat um, per protein. Okay, so these come out as fairly large packets of fat and cholesterol. So then what it does is it does the same thing as the chylomicrons. It goes around and it just sheds lipids and delivers them to the fat cell and to the muscle. And as it goes through the circulation, it um, as the amount of lipids are reduced, uh, then it gets more dense, and that's what makes it not do. Okay. So um, eventually, after it passes through um, the bloodstream and is circulated, um, anything that has not um, been delivered, if it comes back to the liver, there is a receptor on the liver that will take up LDL. Okay. And then those particles will get broken down, repackaged, and then sent back out again. Okay, so while the liver is doing that, the liver is also making a separate set of microproteins, and those are the HDL particles. So the liver um, makes these HDL particles. And what they do is they go and um, make contact with the cells and they pick up any excess cholesterol um, that has been diffusing around. Um, and anything um, cholesterol that's free and then take it back um, to the liver. All right. So let's see how much of that that you remember. Which lipoprotein is the healthy one? And which lipoprotein is 
less helpful. Okay, on to the next video.